<laughs> featherweight, yeah. Oh, Thanks, the time. Uh, 22 eight. They're worth hundreds of millions of pounds. They're being locked away for no one to enjoy. Is it time then for local councils to sell off their valuable works of art to help ease the budget deficit? Well, one of Britain's best known art critics thinks so. Brian Sewell has told the BBC galleries should not be immune from the spending cuts affecting other areas of life. If you add them up, local councils across the UK have art collections worth hundreds of millions of pounds. These paintings, kept hidden away in storage, are part of a collection worth more than £10 million. They belong to Bath and North East Somerset Council, a council like others that now has to cut jobs and services. You have a country which is virtually on its knees in financial terms. It's going to stay there for at least five years and possibly a great deal longer. You have to do something about it. The art world is not sacred. Do you think they should sell their art? No. Why not? Because it's part of the heritage, it's part of the culture. It's, you know, if you lose that, you lose... What don't you sell? The stuff which isn't on, on display needs to be seen by people, otherwise it's worthless. If they're in a state of where they haven't got the money to do things, then, yeah, definitely. One million and twenty. Councils are allowed to sell their paintings, but they have to follow strict guidelines laid down by the Museums Association. The government says when it does happen, the money raised should only be used to improve existing collections and not to pay for other services. I would, I would go further than local museums. I, I would argue that if you went round the National Gallery with a really critical eye, you might get rid of 800 pictures because they simply aren't up to scratch. So why have a museum full of rubbish? Well, let's put that question to Morris Davis from Museums Association. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Brian Sewell, they're being very forthright as usual. Yes. yes. Why, why have a museum full of rubbish? Well, I don't think you would want a museum full of rubbish, and <laughs> I don't think museums are full of rubbish. It's true that in the past some museums collected some things they now wish they hadn't, and they're going through a very careful process of weeding the collection, making it sustainable for the future. But I don't think that's anything to do with selling things off that are valuable to make money. Yeah. Brian says, though, there are so many things that we never see because they're in storage mm. that it would simply be more cost-effective to get rid of them and, uh, and, and raise some money for it. He says there are 600 pieces which could be sold from the National Museum mm. alone. I, I think that's a very strange view of things, and it's assuming that the only role of the museum is to have things on display. And museums have things stored for research. If they're a local museum, they'll have a big archive of local history and local art that people will want to see, but nobody would want to see them on show all the time. How much, how much is there tucked away in the basement which never comes to light? I think there are, there are huge amounts. 80% is a typical figure. but a 80%? Huge... So for every piece that, you see, yeah. that we see on a wall... Yeah or standing on a stand, mm. there are four more pieces which are hidden away, which are not getting looked at. Yeah, but th or even eight. But, but, but think what they are. They're things like, in the Natural History Museum, millions and millions of irreplaceable specimens of plants and animals from 100 years ago that are there and being used by scientists all over the world all the time. Or archaeology, you've got the beautiful, you know, not-too-broken pot on show. But for that, you've got hundreds of potsherds that... Um, people who research history find terribly useful and they suddenly find a certain pigment that's come from a bit of France that they never knew had trading links with Britain and so on. So there's all sorts of reasons to hang on to this stuff. But that, that's sort of the very delicate stuff that, that is still being looked at. Mm. In terms of pictures being yeah. stored and being stored for very many mm. years, uh, James in Blackburn sent us a, a tweet saying, why don't, tour, why don't you just tour these works? and promote culture. Yeah, no, so get them out and about. At least someone says oh, them. Like, we're not going to sell them. No, absolutely. And there is some of that going on. It's going to be harder now because of the spending cuts. But certainly that there is more getting out from basements. And we run a scheme where we, we give grants to museums to review their collections and, and to see if they could be better elsewhere. Or indeed, sometimes if they are as you said, rubbish, or, uh, or as well, Brian said, yeah, sorry, Brian 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 said rubbish. No, no, and I mean, if things are rubbish, or they're better somewhere else, then absolutely museums shouldn't hang on to them. That There is a danger of saying we keep these just in case one day they'll be useful, and we'd never advocate that mm. for a moment. Mm. But, but to a certain extent, your hands are tied anyway, aren't they? For yeah. national museums, there are restrictions on what they can sell. Yeah, they, they, they can kind of do swapses amongst themselves, but they're not allowed to sell most things. 
Um, local museums, it's much more complicated because a lot of these things were gifts. People in the past have been terribly generous. Mm. And councils in the past have been terribly generous looking after these things with a view to future generations. So you, you think know? morally it wouldn't be a good thing if somebody's gifted a piece of art? Yeah, I mean, morally, and there may be legal problems okay. too then because you get all sorts of protection of them. Yeah. Interesting right. debate, though. Morris, Thank thanks you, very Morris. much. Thank you. Thank you. Viewers in the west of England can see more on that story.